Hey y'all, coming to you from the international headquarters of Scotty DTV, but I was at the 2019 Summit Racing Equipment Atlanta Motorama presented by the Georgia Lottery Corporation. And uh, th those folks are just so good to me when they bring me in. They, 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 they're just incredible hosts. I don't know what else to say. That show is growing. I'm so excited to be part of it. I hope I get to be continue to be part of it. And um, one of the things that they give me the opportunity to do is, uh, if you can imagine, get, in the, get on top of the stage uh, in the middle of the Atlanta Motor Speedway and tell everybody about Scotty D TV. And so that's what this video is. I want to give them a, everybody a big shout out. Michael Blair, a big shout out to the host. He's a buddy of mine, and I always look forward to working with him and seeing him. And uh, to everybody that puts this show together, God, yeah, man, y'all just do an awesome job. And uh, again, I'm so honored to be part of it, and I hope I can continue to be. But anyways, here's me. here I am on stage, Atlanta Motor Speedway. How cool is that? A distinct pleasure and honor to introduce this next genius. The guru of Scotty D TV. He's traveled all over the world, and you can check him out on Scotty D TV. So, Motorama, put your hands together for Scotty D. Michael Blair, what's up, baby? You man, I could not wait to get Dude, you up here on the stage. I have missed you since the last time we were standing right here. Right here, Bo Jangles Main Stage, Motorama last. That's all right. So, what has transpired 365 days from today? From last year. We went over 100 million views. That was one thing. Remember I told you last year standing here that we would do it. And um, January, we went over 100 million views. And that it blows my mind to even think that I would do anything that a million people would watch. Right? But 100 million. How do you wrap your mind around that? It's just crazy. I can't. I really yeah. can't. So what's out of that, what's one thing that pops out in your mind? That experience? What, what, what did you see? Because I'm always looking for that that coolest car that you right, posted, right, right, right. so good. What's something that struck a heart, a heart string with you? Man, that's, you know, that's the, that's a question I get asked everywhere I go. Scotty, what's the coolest car you've shot, you know? And the only answer I can give is probably the next one, you know? I mean, I'm always looking for that next cool car. Great answer. And, um, you know, I have shot a lot of beautiful cars. I've shot a lot of crazy cars. But it's always that that hope that I'm gonna find that one that's gonna be like the whole world's gonna watch, that's gonna go viral. That you know, it'll be like, man, where's this car been? Kind it's gonna of. shut down the internet. Right? Yeah. You know, kind of like a you know, I, I like and what we do is is I'm not as talented as a musician, so don't take me wrong. But you know, each one of these videos is like a song. Sure. So you know, I'm looking for that Rolling Stones, uh, you know, there satisfaction you or something. I'm not looking for one of them songs that are gonna one of them cars that's gonna transcend generations. Kids are gonna want to see it. Old folks are gonna want to see it. Women will want to see it. Guys will want to see it. Everybody wants to see it. So. You know what? I think we need to shoot a documentary with you, Scotty D T V, with all your stories. Yeah. Think about all the stories. How long you've been doing this? But you know, I've been doing this almost nine years. I know. That's you know, I know. I, I, you know, I've never done it. I'm 52. I say that. Well, I'm 52. I've never done anything for nine years. I've never had a job for nine years. And I'm blessed. Because you know what? I, I got to testify for a second. Okay? I fought for the longest time. I fought the Lord. I told him, I'm, you know, I was the ultimate prodigal son. You know, I didn't want to be a missionary. That, and that's all he, that's the only job he had. Right? right? You're going to be a preacher or a missionary. I wasn't interested in either one of those. And one day I gave up. One day I was like, Lord, I'm tired of fighting. Whatever it is you want me to do, that's what I'll do. And you know what he wanted me to do? Scotty DTV. That's what he wanted me to do. And I fought that for the longest time. That tells you what an idiot I am. Say, so I'm far from a genius. No, you are a genius. Because you know what? When you have passion for what you do, it's not work. No, you're right. You know? You're right. You're right. And it's easy. Sometimes you just got to make a decision to be great. That's it. Well, you made that decision. You've got to, you've got to go after what you want. And it's not going to be easy. You know, that's the thing is that, you know, people will call me and they're like, what are you doing? <laughs> what do you think I'm doing? I'm working. You know, at, at 10 o'clock at night you're working. I'm like, it ain't easy being a rock star. Absolutely. You know, you have to work every day to stay out there because if I don't, somebody's going to come take my spot. And you called it last year. You just said 100 million views. 100 million views. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. unconceivable. Yeah, I know it is. But now, I'm very blessed. Oh, and uh, you one of the one of the one of my highlights you asked about a highlight was standing up here last year you know what i'm saying i mean getting to meet great people like you michael coleman dustin bixby you know knowing people like that and dustin's got two roles this year he's the eye in the sky that does not lie and he's got a lot of roles he's got roles he don't even tell people about and then on top of that listen folks you know this man right here he brings people up here and he makes them out to be big stars and all this and that do you realize michael blair in himself is a big star no i'm just loud no that, 
you're allowed in the right way. Thank you. I mean, a man, you, that. I mean, because like you didn't stumble into this either. Nope. Right? You went to school for it. Absolutely. Right? And how many people did you graduate with? Golly. Lots. A lot. And ain't doing what you're doing. No. No. So you went after what you do. And I'm going to tell you too, and you'll testify to this. You and the wife, you're always on the road. You're always working. Yeah, you show pictures of uh, going down a water slide or whatever. People don't realize the travel, the packing, the expense, all the stress that goes into doing that. So there again, big shout out to you. You're the real rock star, no, man. And I always appreciate coming up here talking to you. Scotty, I was looking forward to interviewing again. Tell the fans, we're live right here on right, TV. Yeah, right on Scotty D TV oh right gosh. here. We'll both be doing it for you. I like it. There like you it. go. What is your, tell everybody who did not hear this last year right. what your favorite car is. What is your number one favorite car? Not your next car. Right. I'm asking, I'm calling you out. I, your favorite car of all time. I don't have a favorite car of all time. I'll tell you what. I'll, tell, I, I, I'll give you, I, all I can do is give you a list. I'm a big fan of second generation Camaro. Oh, I like it. I like those. Uh, I'm more into the street machine style, the more aggressive style, than I am more of like a resto mod or something like that. Sure. I want them slammed on the ground. All right. I, you know, if you can't see under them, that's all the better. You like what you like. That's right. And I'm into trucks like everybody else. You know, I'm into, when it comes to trucks now, pickup trucks, cab overs, it doesn't matter. I'm just into all the trucks. So your favorite color is definitely blue, right? I do like blue. <laughs> I do like blue. But you know what? It took me the longest time to figure that out. I just figured out blue. Because I was like, what is my favorite color? And the next thing I looked around, and it's like everything I had was blue, right? So I was like, it must be blue. And you wore red today. I did. That's yeah, right. Just to change it up. Because you know what? Scotty D TV is hot. You never know what you're going to get. It's hot. You never know. You have to tune in every day because if you miss a day, you miss a lot. You miss a lot. You miss yeah. out. That's it. You know what? That's what makes it exciting. Yes, sir. Absolutely. And that's what I want to do. Um, I'm blessed to be able to do what I want to do, but I don't want to just take people's time. You know, I was interviewing Brandon from the Atlanta Motor Speedway. One of the things he told in this interview, he said, you know, I'm kind of like a politician, and I'm asking people to come out and spend their money with the Atlanta Motor Speedway, and I don't take that for granted. And the same thing with me. I'm asking people to spend their time, sure. and I know how much my time's worth, and so if I'm asking them to spend their time to watch my video, I want to make sure it's something that deserves needs to be watched. So, Very much so. Um, I don't always get it right, but I do my best to do well, it. Well, 100 right. million views, you're doing something really right. I'm trying, I'm trying. Absolutely. I'm trying. Anything you want to share with all your fans before uh, we no, head back? We got an auction coming up here. Got some cool stuff about to take place. Does everybody come up and take a look at this stuff? Pinstripers, right? At their finest. Some, beautiful. I love that surfboard. I'll take any of it, to be honest with you. Well, Scotty, where's your next travel going to take you? You know what? Um, my brother out here, Will Posey's right in the camera for me, and he graduated from McPherson College in Kansas, and um, he's one of their rock stars, you know, sure. he runs Big Oak, he's built some grade 8 cars, things like that, and so they're honoring him out in Kansas, and uh, so I'm awesome. going to leave here on Monday and then hook up with him on Wednesday, and we're going to roll out to Kansas and do that. Celebrate so, him. Yeah, yeah, right on. Congrats. Yeah. So good. It just doesn't get any better than that. Right so I'm blessed. I'm blessed to be able to do that. And then we'll be in Columbus for good guys. Yep. Columbus. Uh, yep. We'll be in Louisville. When's Columbus? Columbus? When's Columbus? July. Gotcha. Okay. Be July. I'll be in Columbus Monday. Oh, really? Yeah, Thesis. Yeah. Oh, okay. Big shout. And a big shout out to uh, the Atlanta area. I mean, I don't know. You're from this area. Well, my mail comes here. Okay. I'm never That's here. Right, 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 right. You're I more at the airport than you are. Anyway. I live on Delta. I'm plutonium on right. Delta. I got you. But no, I always enjoy coming to Atlanta. The only thing I can't deal with this traffic. But I love the people. I love the area. And once I'm at the track, I absolutely, you know, I'm, I'm having the time of my life. So what do you think about this year's Summit Racing Equipment Atlanta Motor Rumble? Look around. We got perfect weather, finally. You know, I heard somebody tell me for the first couple of years y'all had bad weather. And I showed up for the first time last year, and I said, ah, that can't be impossible because I figured you had a way of dialing this in because the weather does not get any better than this That's right. in this facility. You know, for Atlanta Motor Speedway to open up a facility like this to let us bring our cars in and show them off and just have a good time and act like football. I mean, come on. Does life get any better than it's that? Awesome. You're smiling, man. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. And I love y'all, and I really appreciate all the support you give me. Thanks for coming out today. I'm going to get around. The only thing is, if y'all can cut me some slack, like, understand I'm trying to shoot videos and um you know I'm not trying to get in your way and if you could just you know cut me a little slack out there. I get people that get a little frustrated with me because I'm trying to get something done and I get in their way and I don't mean to I'm trying to keep an eye on what I'm shooting and I'm really not trying to cause a problem for you man you're welcome here ladies and gentlemen Atlanta Motor Speed let's give it up for Scotty D Scotty D TV thank you thank you thank you thank you
Hey y'all, make sure you subscribe to this channel and visit scottydtv.com for an easy way to search the hundreds of videos I have posted. Either click the link in the description or the one at the end of this video.